Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can enable Copilot on the Windows 11 devices, right? So enabling means what? So enabling means that when there's a Copilot application, which is already a part of a Windows device, right? And which remains or which is attached on the Windows taskbar, right? It either remains on the uh, Windows or beside the Windows search bar, or it remains, or it, it is attached to the beside date and time, right? At the right down corner, right? So that's the Copilot application, which is in preview uh, mode currently, right? And there are different ways, different ways as in how we can turn it on and turn off using Intune. And that's what I'm going to show you, right? So let me go ahead and share my screen where I'm going to just give you a snap of it right and then you will come to know what is it and what i'm talking about right here you see this is the copilot icon which is in preview mode right and this is that copilot mode or copilot application right and we can disable it right and when we disable it that means it is not going to be there it is going to simply be automatically be removed on the Windows devices, Windows machines. And if we wanted to keep it, we can simply keep it as well, right? So to keep it, we don't need to make any changes, but when we disable it, when we remove it, that means we can uh, go ahead and re-enable it again when we wanted to, right? So there are different use cases, different scenarios, why we wanted to disable it, why we wanted to enable it, and whether should we keep it or we should simply disable it, right? So yeah, this, this is the one of the thing that I wanted to show you. And now I'm going to uh, share another screen where I'm going to uh, show you how we can set up the policy, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let me share the screen again quickly here. And then I'll show you how we can do that. So here I'm on Intune admin portal, right? And from here, uh, we need to create a policy, right? So click on devices here at the left side and then windows. And once we are in windows tab here, we need to click on configuration. So we are going to create a configuration profile basically to manage that one, right? And once we are here, we need to click on uh, create and new policy. So once we are here, we need to select the appropriate platform, which is windows 10 and later. And then under this tab, under profile tab, we need to select the prof settings catalog and then hit the create button. So once we click the create button, we need to give it a name that I have already created, uh, which is disable copilot on Windows 11 devices, right? Majorly this comes in Windows 11 devices and you might have seen that uh, on the devices which are re-imaged which are rebranded devices as well as the devices which you have purchased brand new devices from the vendors like Lenovo, HP and others, right? So even those devices also comes with that particular uh, co-pilot applications with pre-installed application, right? So you can give it a name, then give it a description as per your needs and requirements and then hit next button. So here's the setting that we are going to add. Right, so click add settings button here. And once you add it, you just simply need to search for Windows AI. So once you search Windows AI, it is going to open up this one capability or one settings catalog. And here we need to enable this one, right? So this is that option where we can simply enable it or search it basically. And that is once it is added, then uh, we don't need this one so we are just going to add turn off copilot in windows for now and cross this out setting and now once you are here you will see this is currently enabled that means if it is in the left side that means this setting or this policy is enabled if i go ahead and create with this setting it is going to enable this policy on the devices and it is going to let that application be used on the user context, right? And if we wanted to disable it when we are not ready or 
there are different scenarios as as well as the use cases whether we wanted to disable it for whole organization a group of people or a specific user right so we can go ahead and do that as well so let's say go ahead and we wanted to disable it so we would simply disable it and once that is disabled you can see that disable copilot option has been added there right so this way it is disabled now we are ready to move to the next step and then next step we can add scope tags as in as per our needs and requirements and then click next and then from here we can add either add a specific group or all users across the organizations or all devices across the organization so this way we can target whatever is needed whatever we wanted to add and what is really needs to be added in this one right so this way we can simply add it here and then uh, make sure we we have targeted it appropriately and once that is done we are good here and then click next so once we click next we will we will end up in a review plus create section where we can see the basic section configuration settings and then scope tags and assignments and excluded groups if there are any right so here we can see the settings which is this one uh, turn off copilot in windows users which is in default uh, which is in disable state right so disable copilot that means we have disabled it appropriately and we are good here to go ahead and create this policy so now once this policy is created it is going to be here i'll just simply search it again perfect so here's the policy and this policy is created successfully for us and uh, once it is applied on the devices successfully we can see the different settings or parameters here along with the device assignment status per setting status and the report as well and if in case we wanted to make any other changes then we can simply uh, come here and edit each section and make the appropriate changes right so yeah that is all for this video i wanted to show you all about right and uh, hope you will like it please do like share and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share this video within your friend circle and the people who are working on intune and all other capabilities right and uh, they can also learn about it and uh, definitely it's going to benefit them as well so yeah that's all for this video and thanks for watching bye for now